welcome. Today's lesson is about logos. This is how you can kind of beautify, but also customize and make it your own uh, logos uh, in your system for Autodesk. Not only to show in Autodesk where you can use it, but especially on the outgoing communication, the email notifications or through your quotes or your invoices. You can find these under the admin section and then going to your organization and then there's a section logos. As you can see, there's a couple of uh, logos or, or uh, kind of items already in here. You first start with choosing a file. Now I created already a project uh, like here, a test logo over here that we can upload. Uh, what you have to be careful for is that the image size can be up to 200 in width and 158 in pixels. And it must be a web compatible image like either way, a, a, a GIF, a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, so make sure that you have uh, you take care of those logos in the specific formats is also in the Autodesk help file. You can easily find it uh, where to uh, to find it. Now in this case, uh, we have to probably refresh it and uh, to get that logo to be visible. Um, save. And here we go. There is my new logo. As you can see on the top, there's a couple of sections that says quote logo, primary logo and other logo. How do you get it there? Let's go to this one that we just uploaded. As you can see, this is a much bigger one as your as the other ones that were uploaded. You do a right click on it and that's where you have the image or the option to specifically say, okay, this is going to be your primary logo image. You click on it and now you see that's being moved all the way over there. And it's not in this, it's also still in this list where you can easily use it from here. As you can see also, this here is a black and white logo. Let's say this one, we want to have it as the code logo image. Again, it goes to refresh and it goes over here. And that's how you can choose those uh, pictures where you want to have them. That's basically all. Make sure that you have uh, different settings for the primary logo and the quote logo. Uh, primary logo, you might want to have it like a bigger one. Quote logo, you, you don't want to have a big one. Sometimes it's a little bit playing with it. Uh, you might even want to say you have a little bit difference of your, your main logo and your other logo and your code logo because there's a different verbiage in there. So play with it. But this is indeed how you can uh, customize them, upload them into a system and select them on where you want to have it to be. Make sure that at the end, of course, you press the save button. That way it's all, uh, uh, all done. And uh, then you can go in there. Uh, do take an effect that sometimes you need to log out and re-log in for everything to be completely visible. And that's all. Any questions, please post to our Facebook uh, group. Thank you.